Butler's Incorporated has been a casualty of the road construction that has plagued Route 4 in Sinahania for the last few months. Butler's Inc. President Jerry Champion says the road repairs have resulted in him having to close up half of his shop and letting go of some of his staff. I have already closed Champ's Hot Dogs. Five employees lost their, lost their weekly paycheck for that. Uh, Butler's is down to one or two employees. It's difficult to close up the once thriving business that began in 1915. While Butler's Incorporated managed to survive World War II, Champion isn't so sure the family-owned business will be able to survive this fight. Even though the Route 4 road repairs are complete, an island now blocks direct access to his business. They're choking me off and I'd much rather prefer that when I go out of business, when I complete my promise to my grandmother to put one, be the first 100 years, that um, we can go out humbly, a little bit of class. Now the situation is similar to how the businesses are impacted over at the Barragata Tri-Intersection area. And like Champion, he says that it's the island down the center of the road that blocks access to his business. And what he says may result in a possible class action lawsuit. If that seems to be what the consensus is of the people, I don't know that. I don't want to be the, I'm not a dictator. I don't want to tell anybody what to do. I want to look at my options and say, okay, we can do this and this. Personally, I'll try the peaceful road. Champion says the problem can be solved with one backhoe in 30 minutes. While he seeks help from public works and lawmakers, Senator Tony Atta introduced Bill 25 today that could help provide some relief to businesses like Butler's. It's to authorize Gita, you know, on... Um, on availability of funds to extend loans to these companies or these businesses that are affected and uh, give them enough working capital to stay in business. The legislation also seeks to exempt businesses located in the vicinity of road construction projects from paying fees and taxes for one year. The Republican lawmaker says the government should be responsible for providing relief if it is responsible for causing suffering. Champion, meanwhile, is inviting residents to come into an open discussion at Butler's store on January 17th at 11 a.m. to try to identify solutions for other businesses impacted by the road repairs. Reporting in Sinahanya for Guam's News Network, I'm Nick Delgado.